I am going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Z Season 9. Um, this contains 38 episodes on 6 discs. It's a complete fusion and kid boo saga. I bought this a while ago when my brothers and I were combined all the money and we bought it. Um, but let's get straight to the review. Okay, here's the positive. It, it's uncut. It's got the original Japanese audio that you can switch to. The marathon feature so you don't have to fast forward every everything. Um, that's good. Also good, I mean, the Fusion Saga, the Kid Boo Saga, those are some of the best sagas in my opinion. Um, maybe not the Fusion Saga, but the Kid Boo Saga certainly was. The bad, though. Um, it does get a little bit repetitive. If you watch, if you actually watch it, you know, for the entire day, then some some parts of the movie aren't going to make sense because all they're doing is fighting Kid Boo. Well, I mean, you can tell that there's a lot of filler in these episodes because you would think by by some point in the um besides the final episode they would say, hey, maybe punching Boo is not going to work because he's just going to regenerate. So maybe we should try to do something that's going to extinguish him. But they don't do that. They just keep fighting him. And then someone dies, and not someone dies, someone gets beat, and then someone comes to save, um, to save that person, and then it keeps going like that until eventually Goku, of course, has to beat him. Now, I'm not saying, the action, the action's great, it's been remastered, um, you can tell it's dated, of course, but it's so much better than what you would have seen on, say, Cartoon Network. Um, as far as the episodes go, I'm not sure if I have a particular favorite. Although, if I, if I did have a favorite, it would probably have to be episode 263, A Whole New Gohan. If you've seen that episode, that to me is the epitome of DBZ awesomeness. Because Majin Buu just comes, uh, and then Gohan comes, and Majin Buu says, Oh, um, you know, I'm the strongest, which you, you're the one who wants to fight me. And Gohan says something along the lines of, Fight you? No, I'm gonna kill you. And that to me was just awesome because then Go Gohan he just proceeds to own Kid I mean uh, Super Boo and I mean he beats the snot out of him. Of course he gets defeated. Goku ends up saving the day. Um, but here's the thing: if you actually enjoy filler, then you're not going to like this box set too much because it's straight to the action. The only filler episodes which you can kind of count as filler, besides the prolonging the episodes when they prolong the fight would be kind of um at the the last few episodes this is particular episode um which is the next to last episode i believe no yeah yeah the, the next episode um go on he like i mean goku something about it, i don't know he helps dinosaurs and he helps these pterodactyl that's kind of retarded i would annoyed. I, I attempted to, uh, to fast forward through that, but I didn't. Um, so that, you know, that can be a downer, those types of episodes, but if you like the feeling, you like seeing the characters interact in a non-fighting zone, like during the World Tournament, there's only about three episodes of the World Tournament before the series ends, so you're not going to enjoy that that much. If you like to see those types of episodes, my advice would be to either just watch the um, original Dragon Ball episodes where they actually got to complete the World Tournament or the Cell game. And that's... But all in all, I give this box set a 9 out of 10 because it's great DBZ awesomeness. It's just lacking in a few areas.